I would like to familiarize you with the equipment placed at the table. You can access your additional equipment by selecting the additional equipment button on the screen. It has the same functionality as your first in bag and drug box. I feel a little sick, like I have the flu, it's something. <coughs> no, my body aches. I'm really having any chest pain. Yeah, I've been feeling a little... Team respond to the financial district report of a severe earthquake, major structural damage, multiple calls. Let's choose our equipment. Oh, my leg. I think it's broken. Ah, oh, my head. Killing me. I mean, get over there. Start treating those patients. They're from the building collapse. My chest hurts. I can't feel my legs. Yeah, my chest kills me every time I try to take a breath. Stomach. It hurts. It hurts so bad. Yeah. Just look at me. Fairbane Stadium, report of an explosion, multiple calls. Medic 19 received. Do we have any further information? Receiving multiple calls for a large explosion at Fairbane Stadium. Multiple patients reported, unknown number. 
dispatching additional units and EMS shift commander. Received. ETA five minutes. Since we have command, we'll have to establish an incident command post, and you, as the senior officer, will need to serve as the incident commander until the shift commander arrives. Where should we establish the incident command post? You should use the mobile data terminal to establish the sectors for staging, triage, treatment, and transport. You can use your mobile data terminal to drag the sectors from the right column onto the map. Remember to properly assess the scene before making your decision. It looks like you have things covered in Incident Command. Where would you like me to go? All right, I'll start triaging casualties and I'll provide rough numbers as soon as I'm able. Ambulance 5, on scene staging area, awaiting orders. Some are already over there. Report back to me when you're done. Foot hurts so bad. I don't think I can walk on it. Oh, oh my chest, it hurts. There's no need for this, partner. <laughs> my chest, my chest really hurts. It might be my heart, but I can't feel my, my legs at all. No. I've, I've been taking Robitussin for the last couple of days. Yeah, flu for one week. Lunch, lunch, lunch. I, I, I was caught. And the explosion. The explosion. John, the 34. This stadium. We have patients being brought in who need to be triaged. Some are already over there. 
Get started and report back to me when you're done. <laughs> I'm so dizzy. I just need to sit down for a bit. I'm dizzy. I, 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 I just need to sit down for a bit. Get your equipment and treat those four patients that just came in from decon. Hazmat has the word that it contains potassium cyanide. That could explain the respiratory difficulties. I felt really weird for a minute. I was really scared. Nope. No, I don't take any medications. No. I just ate a pretzel on the train, if it really matters. I was down the hall. I just got off another train. My name's Richard Miller. I'm 18. We're at the train station. I was just taking the train home. <laughs> 